Hello again all! In a previous video I had showcased a build for an auto-sorting storage system that probably had too many items flowing through it. And the truth is, instead of sending the excess items to factories to have them produce fewer, yet more complicated items, I decided to rebuild the storage system nearby, but give it more capacity. Now I knew this was going to be an insane undertaking, but I have the likes of Total and Josh and Kibitz to show me how to waste insane amounts of time in a game, so I got started. It wasn't without its trials, I'll admit. I built a huge system only to tear it down again for half an hour when blueprints showed up, and I just had to test if it was possible to build it faster and more compactly with blueprints. And I am here to tell you that it was totally possible. So in this video, I'm going to show you the tips and tricks that I learned while building this system so that you can replicate bringing your frame rates to a grinding halt as well. What? Josh can't have all the fun. So let's begin. First off, the blueprint for this build can be found at the Satisfactory Calculator website. The direct link for this blueprint I'm using is in the description below. Download the files, then put them into your Satisfactory Save Folder location under the Blueprints folder for your save files. Next, when you load up your game, you should see the Storage Auto Filter Block blueprint. We will use that to repeatedly place down blocks of belts and sorters. This particular system has four input lines per block that can be sorted out to five different outputs. In my case, each line went out to storage containers, so each line sorts the same thing out. You will understand this better shortly. When you place the blueprint, the front should be facing you. The front will be facing you when the belts on the bottom row are moving items from your right to your left. The top row of belts should be taking items away from you. Then, you can place another block either to the left or to the right of that one, or on the far or near side of the one you just placed, or both, in order to expand. Placing another block to the left or right will allow you to filter more items out to storage containers, expanding the amount of items, one per line, and placing on the front or back of the block you just placed will allow you to sort more lines incoming from trains, for example. These incoming lines will be attaching to your right side. And that is basically it. Expand as necessary for your build, then simply attach the belts between the blocks that you place. For the upper belts, there will be five per block on either the front or back where you placed another blueprint block, and the lower belts will have four that will attach on either the left or the right or both. Once the belts are attached and you have one large grid, you will need to program each of the smart splitters to tell them what item you would like to filter off of that belt to each of the containers. A tip I will give you that you may already know, but is definitely worth repeating for those who don't know, is that you can hover your cursor over a smart splitter to copy its settings using the Control c keyboard shortcuts without actually opening its operations menu. This will come in very useful for this next step, as you will have lots of smart splitters filtering the same items per incoming belt, depending on how large you make this build. It will definitely also help you to make macros if you have that capability on either your keyboard or your mouse. So now you set each of the splitters in the front row of incoming items to which item you would like sorted out of the right output and set the center output to any undefined setting. The any undefined setting is important if you are attaching this to a storage system, but will likely be necessary for most builds that this could be used for so ensure that any undefined is set for the center output and the left output will be kept at none. Once that first row of splitters has been set, now you can go to each additional row and copying the settings from the first splitter, use Ctrl V to paste the same settings to each additional row of incoming items, 
that will share that same belt as I'm demonstrating here. If there are any hiccups in your system, the filtering is usually the most likely scenario. I found that my blueprint was initially broken in my system when I started seeing the same location in the blueprint not properly filtering items off the line. It has since been rectified, so the blueprint you get should work as intended. Connect the outgoing belts to your factory, or in my case, storage containers, and prosper. I'd love to hear from you in the comments below what you used this for in your factory building, and if you would like to share it, feel free to link to your YouTube video down below in the comments. I'd love to hear that this saved you the hours of time I wasted getting this built in the first place. Thank you so much for your time, like and sub if you like this type of content, and I'll be back with more in the future. See you next time.